Mikhail, I got two for you. Just, you know, pretty solid first half. You guys are up 10 or so, and then, you know, that third quarter starts to fall apart. Just what would you see there? Yeah, we just, uh, it's just, it's just, they, we just didn't, we weren't there. We weren't, um, you know, in our shifts and transition, not getting back as hard. And then, you know, Giannis got it going, got to the line, got the and ones and Duncan and got them going. So, um, yeah, we just, we had to just get back, you know, had that mindset coming out. But, yeah, they dominated the second half. But, yeah, it started with us in that third. And then just, you know, the, all things considered, the, the turnovers were pretty even, essentially, but they still got, you know, 20 more shots than you guys. What, what do you make of the discrepancy? Um, I don't know, man. I think, I don't know what the rebound looks like. So they got more than us, but they just, it was getting stops, and it was pushing and getting out. You know, we weren't in shifts, and Giannis was doing Giannis things. Um, you know, driving, creating, getting to the paint, kicking out, dunking it, doing everything. So we just, we just had to be better on the transition part. Kind of piggybacking off of that, the way Giannis was playing, is there anything more that you guys could have done to maybe deter him, or is that just, is he going to get what he gets? Um, it's tough. It's tough to game plan against him. I mean, everybody tries to game plan him, and, you know, the numbers he still put up, um, it's tough. But um, I think he's just got to be together as a team at all times because, you know, if he sees one lane, just a little opening, you know, it's tough to guard him. So it's just a guy like that, he's got to be locked in. At all times, all five guys, you know, to, to stop a guy like that. And second, you know, Jacques is historically anti-mid-range jump shot, but you're obviously capable of making them at, at a decent efficiency. Just what's that conversation like between you guys, between you being able to knock that shot down, but him not necessarily liking the mid-range jump shot too, too much? Um, I don't know. I was just, just confident in it. Um, I feel like Coach give you a little confidence. If you're making them, he trusts you. But uh, I still try to mix it up, try to get to the rim, shoot threes, just try to try to mix it up. But, you know, that's the shot I like, and I feel like, you know, it's kind of like a layup to me, especially if I get my feet in the paint. But, no, that's just that's him letting me play and, you know, be aggressive. Okay, you guys had, I think it was nine assists on your first ten baskets. You know, it seems like the first half of the scoring was pretty diverse and whatnot. Just what, what do you think changed kind of in the second half with, with well, first, what did you make of the start and what was working so well, and then what, what got away from that? Just not getting enough stops. That's what it is. We were getting stops and getting out and transition. Um, that was the biggest thing. And then, you know, once they start scoring, slowing us down, putting a half court, kind of, you know, how they play, they, you know, they be in a drop and kind of deny it out. So they kind of make you come off a screen and make no passes. So, I mean, credit to them. That's, I mean, I think they're the top defense in the league. And, you know, they, they got the, the coaches and the players. But, uh, yeah, we weren't getting stopped, so it kind of set their half-court defense.